also just in, just in general, I find it very difficult in some sectors, but in other ways, it's quite easy because you can find the conditions. But yeah, like I think, and I always say this, I feel like, J, of course, my company is like really small, but in general, I find like women who are in very top positions in like corporates or whatever, they have this reputation of, a lot of them have a reputation of being like very brutal or, um, you know, like just being not necessarily mean but you know just being like a very overwhelming personality they have very stern and you know i find gym women have to they have to be 10 times better at everything just to like get all this position absolutely because up to the moment actor may have to catch parana it's like you're bringing all the other women down because no one's going to tell a man that oh you can't do it that money is not that is a burden for the women yeah i mean just like saying that all women are bad drivers or women are quite that notion that's out but but among the she yeah of course only out of the she so but we keep up i have like really thick skin and i'm on but if you have some mom she's always with the water shoe and really water shoe i'm carrying the water shoe this water shoe that i don't even really like water shoe thing this is worthless i don't listen to other people this is what you need to do and what i was saying is they force you to like on a stern or in a lot of cases. Yeah, but they will not you know, if if you are some some people like tend to take and take advantage of your kindness. They do or niceness. So uh and they see it as weakness. So you you have to just be up on the up up like just have like better game with that. Uh just to survive. on setting up boundaries and on saying hey, 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 these are my limitations these are the things I prefer these are the things I want so how do you set that and how can we learn that from you because you do it so well but see I don't I, you know I don't know if I do it very well but I, I've learned to, I need to ask for I need to ask for what I want and I need to set, set my own boundaries because or else people just take advantage or they assume things and because I am this direct i mean i know a lot of people think that i'm very rude or um you know mean or i'm just like socially not great all of these things are probably true but i do it so that none of it like messes with my process or with my work um but yeah i i, I actually do i i i always encourage my friends and like people are close friends i always tell them you have like even if it's any form of relationship you have to tell so you have to understand where what you are okay with and then you have to say it if you don't voice it people are not going to assume or just you know, they they don't have telepathy they do not know it so what you need to like first you knowing what you want how far you're willing to compromise it's not like i don't compromise i am completely fine with it but you know how where will i how far would i do it really understanding that and being okay with that with different people um but yeah and i think you know I, as i grow older i understand like the times like my most essential commodity most expensive commodity so at the at the time in much connect if i frame it with what i need they need to look much harder it's extremely important it might be rude but it is essential so just because something is not necessarily polite doesn't doesn't mean you won't ask for it you have to ask for things and people who respect you or respect you more they will understand they will come to Artist, have you had people ask you for free stuff? Oh my god, all the time. All the time. I think especially like a few years earlier, I mean, there were so many people who would just be like, oh, I need to worry about losing some exposure, and people still do that. It's crazy. Oh my god, no one exposure doesn't pay your bills, okay? <laughs> like, I'm ready to ball enough. They, you know, like if you're a digital artist, be like, hey, I'm not the talent to be to cut it up, che. I'm not the supplies to sell, che. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I think. <laughs> You know, it's 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 just really sad to people do that, and I think Aro. The worst thing is, you know, when you make that concession, when artists do that for like very minimal money, they want to turn out a lot of work, to do the back and forth for a client. But I think that artists need to draw that boundary line for themselves. Where I I I mean, it's I'm sure it gives me a bad reputation, but I've walked out of a few projects here. I do final stage of it, but when. You know, I realized that the payment wouldn't be there. Um, 
it's it's just it, it was just ridiculous and they were just like oh look at the exposure and i'm just like i don't care know your worth and then you have to voice it or else just why not and people will keep taking advantage and all this like exposure people sure sometimes it works but how much exposure do you need and all what if all the exposure doesn't bring you any money how are you gonna pay your bills when you do take commissions like suppose someone wants to come to you for a commission taking customer how does one make the process easy the creative process like i mean are you going to commission for Right. So what is the process like? How should they take this? Each are ready to help achieve the money? No, I think usually if someone's coming in for a commission, I usually ask like, what is it? Who is it for? Is it a portrait, etc. We talk about sizes, and then I usually ask them because usually commission pieces are usually uh, of a person, of a pet, an animal, etc. Uh, family. So that's when I usually ask them some background information like names info what are they into likes dislikes like anything you want, you want to tell me or share and it's nice if i can meet them also so then i can and also like i can go take photos or they're on the like, history channel and then i can uh, then i like lay out the money because usually i don't draw just a face i like usually from the history that's provided i add little elements to my pieces so i feel like their personality or bits of their personality that's shown to me is shown there.